Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda, where I was, when I was, wait, you know, get my stuff set up, up in the top right corner, a whole bunch of new email uh, notifications flashed up from my pals. Here, let's go. Um, can I view my emails from in here? Probably not. Video chat. I was thinking we might get, um, the, uh, memories, maybe, today, but that might be something I actually do on a live stream, because it's going to be a pain in the butt. Just running around being like, na 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 na. Oh wow, y'all! I've been telling you about been telling you about my family. I've been telling my family about you and my time on the Tempest. I'd love for you to meet them and see where I grew up. My true mother, Sahuna, is especially interested in meeting you. Next time we're on Havara, let's stop by. Okay, I forgot. I'd heard kind of about that that you got to do that. Maybe meet his true mother. Uh, from Kesh, I'm worried about my grandfather. He likes to act tough, but he's still an old man. And he's been through a lot. We just talked. He said he's fine, but I could tell he's hurting. After I nagged him too much. He promised to go see your ship's doctor. Can you do me a favor and make sure he does? I need him alive a little longer, please. All right. From Cora. Ryder, I thought about our talk after the Lithuania. I got some inspiration. Come and chat next time we're both on the ship. Oh. Come meet Jill. Oh, yeah. We got to meet Jill. Hey, next time we're on EOS, I'm meeting with my buddy Jill. She'd love to meet you, and I kind of said you'd make an appearance, so don't make a liar out of me. Oh, Okay. From Nakmore Clan Pathfinder, Nakmore Scouts recently returned with a troubling report. Two Ket ships crashed on a plateau on Eladin after taking damage, flying through the Scourge. One scout swears she saw one of the ships firing upon the other as they went down, but we are unable to verify this claim. If there are survivors from this crash, the desert will quickly, quickly claim their lives. However, we believe the circumstances surrounding the crash unusual enough to warrant bringing me to the attention of the Pathfinder. Wait, you want me to clean up your mess? From Moshai. Uh, if you intend to fight the cat, you should understand the enemy as we do. There are still a few of us who remember what it was like when the cat first came and how our lives changed once we discovered their true intentions. Learn what our elders have to teach you. I've told them you're coming and given you the means of finding them on Aya. With respect, Moshe. Carrie, from Hakim. Writer, I'm Carrie's producer for the documentary. Something's happened. Come by when you're on the Nexus Next. Oh, yeah! She was the one who'd do little bits for me or for whatever. I don't know. From Cora, reports from the Archon's flagship sounded pretty harsh. Hope you're doing okay. Something that gets me. When I can stop thinking about what happened to the Solarians and the Krogan is all those remnant artifacts the Archon had. This isn't just a mission for him. It's an obsession. I've fought people like that before who only have one thought in their head that burns everything else away. They get very dangerous very fast. Watching your back. To Ryder from G <laughs> The Angara have a bar where PV got tipsy. She's a flirt, even alert, but sauce, she's a pixie. 60 hours straight keeping your ship afloat. Does it show? Uh, from Liam. Just putting this out there. I had a friend in house, C1 Dondi. We were clearing a hospital after an earthquake and she got hit with a chunk of rebar. Split her helmet, kept going. Four minutes technically dead, but we got her into emergency stasis. Thing is, because they're so good at patching people up, she was back with us in a week and she shouldn't have been. Sure, Dondi's a vet. She's seen some stuff, but you don't walk that off. She worked that quake site for a week then disappeared for five months she came back but different the other vets they knew take the time if you need it you don't die and just shake it off oh 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 about the time i died just recently okay i already died once liam man writer i thought i knew guns but this angara crap they really know how to make things to point and shoot was i a couple on eye when we were there a sidearm called a zephyr and a sniper rifle ishere i think they called it looks fancy but i guess even their shivs are fancy Glad we found aliens know how to fight. Not sure how I would feel if Andromeda was nothing, nothing but Pyjax or, ugh, Elcor. I'll take Ket over those chumps. Wow. Is this all the emails I got after doing this main mission? Ryder, I'm encouraging all crew members to take up stress-relieving hobbies. As everyone, especially you, is under a lot of pressure. While taking up knitting may seem a waste of time, such activities release endorphins that clear clutter from our brains so we can solve tough problems and make better decisions. You don't have to choose any of the activities below, but I thought they might jog some ideas. Gardening, reading, knitting or crocheting, coloring or painting, journaling. I'm always here to talk if you need me. Thanks, Lexi. Communication from Jaw. Holy crap. I hope I haven't, like, been neglecting my email. Um, from Jaw. 
I'm writing to let you know that I've been receiving a lot of messages of congratulations from res Resistance members who've heard of our victory against the Archon. It's not common knowledge, but it's hard to keep good news like that from spreading. We're a hopeful people who are granted new hope. Imagine the excitement when we conquer Meridian and hail the cluster for all our people. Some nights I can't sleep because I'm dreaming of it. Oh man, it's, that's awesome. Oh yeah, from Jaw, concerning movies, writer. Lee is talking about a movie night, but when he explained it, it sounded lacking. At least compared to Angaran bits. Perhaps I can add what's missing. Come talk to me. Okay. Oh my gosh, are we, are we good to go now, everybody? Hello, writer. Your choice aboard the Solarian Ark was not an easy one. Your father approached such moral quandaries differently. Um... Dad was used to making snap life-or-death decisions. I now know that colored his perceptions. Alec treated death as a problem to be solved. I have now encountered it several times. His death, and your own. Mm. And what have you learned about dying from us? The self is forged by experiences. Death is the only experience that ends the self before it's understood. So, is death completion? or an expression cut short before it reaches its full solution, giving a different answer. I can see why it fascinates you. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess like as like a species. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's uh, maybe run through and please let me in the bathroom. Anything new on here? Ah, comparative religious study meetup. We did these on the Nexus and they were always fun and interesting. Bring your own text to study or just come to listen to others discuss theirs. Sign up below so we have a rotation for coffee. Suvi, uh, Jal, and Kahlo. And Garn word of the day, Vesagara. Vesagara means uprooted people. Used to speak impolitely of those from the Milky Way. Oh, not as bad as it could be. Spelled like it sneered. From Liam, it's used mostly by the road car. To be fair, one doesn't get more uprooted than being a galaxy away, Joe. Is it Vesagara or Vesagara, Suvi? Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that interrupt. Um, now, let's see what Cora wants. Got a minute? I could use a favor. Oh, uh, okay. Sure, what do you need? I kept thinking about Sarissa and... My not being a pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. Okay. That Archon barely sees us as sentient, strings people up like puppets. Didn't know Sam could do that to his pathfinder. You sure you're okay? No, oh, yeah. Just a lingering bruise or two. My vitals are good. Let's hope that sample he took isn't a problem. Losing another Pathfinder is bad enough, even with the Krogan safe. Sorry, rambling. Did you need me? Okay, so we also need to talk to. Oh, Jaw. Hmm. Liam's idea about watching vids together. Movie night? He delayed again, out of respect for Reka. Hmm. Good. From what I've seen, your vids are flat. They're only seen and heard. What? Angara vids use uh, tiny electrodermal signals. You feel it through your skin. Whoa. I spoke to Gil. We have time to rig up a system to mimic it. If we can Ooh. acquire the right components. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. Uh, the components we need should be sold on Aya. Hmm. Let's be vigilant. Vigilant. Ryder, what a victory. Now that we know where Meridian is, the Archon's downfall begins. Mm -hmm. A victory feels good, and there's more to come. You have a good team here, Ryder. Yeah, seems to be working out okay. 
If you'd like, I can provide crew training about embracing emotions. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll think about that. Okay, let me know. <laughs> Interesting. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this door is closed. Petra, Oops. Petra. You realize that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the cat activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The cat can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing cat over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. Oh. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. <laughs> These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's holding a moon. Hmm? One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp. Yep. The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes, or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Honest work. Vetra, you'd be an awful farmer. <laughs> yeah, you don't know that. <laughs> you Point don't is, know that. I could be anything. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess in it. Just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself. Yeah, for it's true, it's true. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? It's nice to see her kind of, I mean, it's something that she needs to get done, but she's also relaxed, you know? I feel like things are finally going our way, for real. Getting the Solarians back, that's huge. I just wish we could have saved Reka too. I know. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I feel like I made a lot of weird decisions, I don't know. Okay. So we have Gil. Who doesn't move? Well, sometimes he goes into that uh, room up there. Which is where it looks like he is. Oh, wait, never mind. Here he is. That's right. He can be right here, too. Hey, you're two for two. What do you mean? Two times face to face with the Archon. Two times you spit in said face. Figuratively speaking, of course. Hmm. We were nose to nose this time. Some spit might have hit the mark. That's a two-way street, Ryder. Yeah. Ah, it's true. trying to exalt us all, huh? That's what all this is about. Could be. Typically, I like high-stakes games, but I'd rather be sitting at the kiddie table this time. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Anytime. It's been so long since I've talked to anybody, but... It's not like in the trilogy where, like, there's, you know, there's a certain number of things that you do, and then you get back, and you talk to people, and... And, uh... Sorry, it's the holidays, so interruptions, I don't even remember what I was saying, but interruptions are gonna be lots. Hey, Ryder. Thinking about our run through the Arkham flagship. Word of warning. You die again, 
I'm taking it to HR as emotional abuse. Stop it. Okay. We'll talk later. I know it. Ah. Okay. Let's see. I don't think we have. We we need to find Drac. Where's Drac at? PB Calo. Suvi is Drac downstairs. Uh. Petra, Jal, Lexi. Oh, Lexi's in with Drac or Drac. Blah, blah, blah. Poke me back downstairs. Oh, I think I was saying that like, before. It's like you know, there's like so many missions to do here now between talking to crewmates it feels like much longer between talking to them which it is it's just you know and in mass effect you got kind of old that like you go back and check with people and unless you had done a certain main mission like you know there wasn't really any dialogue change but but this one it takes much longer <laughs> move your arm again readings won't change doc your prosthetics are sinking properly your neuropathy-induced pain levels are consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. I don't mind. Everything okay? This looks like a lot. It is a lot. Just nothing he didn't already know about. What do you mean? Mm. He's fine, just old and missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. I think she really likes him. <laughs> I mean, you I know love she me does. just the way I am, Doc. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Nah. Can I ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's a lot. Made it through the Krogan rebellions. Watch my culture disintegrate. Survived centuries as a merc, and all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience, all it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. What? It must have been hard. Yeah, it got pretty bad. Oh, wow, that's big. They hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into the pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I am gonna cry. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. He wasn't just talking about the baby. Yeah, I was useless too, but... wasn't just about me anymore. So I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her, and she took care of me. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. You found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. And you're going to tell me all about it, aren't you? 
damn right I am. <laughs> Parents aren't meant to be a goal or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. Wow. That's actually... Jeez. That's like the most emotional moment I've had in this game. Holy crap. Like, why did they just throw throw in the feels all of a sudden? Like, Drac is hands down my favorite character, but that was really... That was like... That's gonna stick with me for a long time, that message. <laughs> it's good, good for a lot of people to hear. Right up. I saw another of Dad's memories. I was in this one. Scott, too. We were home visiting. Dad told us about going through the Charon Relay. So you got your sense of exploration from your father? Mm. We joked it was in our DNA. Then that part of him lives on. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here. Let me, me just throw this little psychological tidbit at you. It's fine. Okay, so then we just have, um, oh wait, it's up, uh, PB, Kahlo, and Suvi. We'll see if they've, let's see, Ryder, okay, so that's the same, meet Gil to talk to blah, blah, blah. Go to Eos, the company to Havarl, the Ascension in the ranks. Oh, is that that's gonna be like a continuation of the know your enemy sort of a thing? Interesting. Um, where is finding a home? Battle on the Archon's flagship. You saved the Krogan trapped aboard the Archon's flagship, but only by but only by leaving Solarian Pathfinder Reka behind. Okay, crew like another neck more drag, blah blah blah. Uh, have a bond through all these misadventures. Drax's been showing his age. The old Krogan's already half bought with all the synthetics keeping him upright, and Kesh fears that her grandfather's gunning for a not so early grave. Did this one change? Okay, Vetra. With your recent successes against the Ket, Vetra has really begun to believe that despite all that's come before, you have a chance to make it in Helios. You supported PB's decision to sacrifice the mysterious remnant device to save her erstwhile friend Kalinda, which I regret, I regret very much. If I could go back and not have to do that stupid fight that literally, like I did it fine the first time, right? Like, oh, I went through and finished, uh, went back. It took me like five times to do it again. I don't know what I kept, like I know what I kept, but I kept messing up and doing stupid things and it took like, 45 minutes to get back to that scene and I was like I'm never doing that again <laughs> Yeah about that freaking how's that going? I don't know Okay And now up we go I hear you somewhere. Hey, how's it going, Phoebe? Oh, gal. Hey, PB. Hold mm -hmm. that thought. Sit tight. Uh, I'll be right back. Hello. Hi. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. Actually, you be the judge. So, uh... you and your team are like a fungus, you know? You look and smell funny and you grow in the weirdest places. And somehow, you found root in my... Oh, it's so corny to say. Heart. Ugh. I'm recording my heart. This, so when I get antsy, <laughs> and believe me, I will, just sit my ass down and play it. Shut up, PB free card. Now, if there's anything you'd like to preserve for posterity, say it at the... Oh, and there's anything you'd like to preserve for posterity, say it at the... Oh, and then join me in the meeting room? Um... <laughs> Fungus works both ways, PB. So, yeah, you're right. Ugh. Pretty much sums it up. So, 
Uh, I wanted to oh, talk wow. to you all. Uh oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, <laughs> just luck. She just showed up. <laughs> what? She did ambush me, but I survived. No harm, no foul. <laughs> I just want to. Whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well. Wow, this is stop. huge! I'm proud. She brought everybody and happy in to be one part room. Of this team. This. family. That. that's really it. Uh. uh. okay. About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Nah. Get the stove on. <laughs> I'm making ice. I'm making it's ice? An holiday. <laughs> Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. Helping Liam make but, ice! But... Hey everyone, thanks for watching this part. Sorry about the weird, like, glitchy problem we're having there. It's usually not a reoccurring problem. It'll probably be affecting the next episode, which both are going to be short because it's taking me, like, twice as long to edit these to try to get the audio to sync back up because it keeps unsyncing itself through, like, every, like, five minutes. So that's been fun. Um, but yeah, sorry about lack of videos lately. Once more. Actually, uh, you know, I'm not gonna zip, you know what, I say that a lot, and it probably doesn't mean anything at this point. But, thank you anyway for watching. It has been Christmas. I hope you guys have had a good Christmas, and a good Hanukkah, and a good whatever else you celebrate. If you don't celebrate anything, I hope you had a good weekend. Um, but yeah, thanks you guys for putting up with me. I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed this part. And things are really gonna, they seem like they're kicking up a notch in this game. So I've become, like, reinvested in it, so that's nice. Um, next time I'm gonna have to just play through all the main stuff and not worry about any of the side stuff. But yeah, thank you again for watching this. Again, hope you had a good weekend, and I will see you guys in the next part.